Nadine Dorris is really pushing the envelope here. Yesterday, she was all over... Well, was it today? I've forgotten my time. Uh, she was all, It was today. This morning, she was all over the mail, uh, claiming that she was a working-class girl who's become a Tory, and uh, she should be honoured for that. Yeah, well, there are plenty of them. And now she's come out and said that uh, she's being bullied by the privileged posh boys who prevented her from getting a seat in the House of Lords. And uh, thankfully, she's been um, uh, taken to task by Lord Haig, who said, you know, this simply isn't true. Uh, she used her platform on talk TV to say that she was bullied by Downing Street and by Rishi Sunak in particular, and by James Forsyth. But I, it's the use of that word bully, which is so... Um, uh, it, 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 it's like fingernails on the blackboard. And William Haig is quite right to challenge her. Um, he says he went to a comprehensive school in Rotherham, and he's a lord. Uh, the idea of a barrier erected by posh boys, well, posh boys didn't do very well at stopping him getting there, did they? Uh, in this case, the problem was a former prime minister proposing um, a whole set of people for the Lords who were in the House of Commons at the time. That raised a major difficulty because those people had to resign from the House of Commons before they could be appointed into the House of Lords. Maybe it was a technicality. Maybe she's been overlooked on a technicality. But she demonstrates absolutely, with this sort of backlash in the Daily Mail, on talk TV, why she simply is not worthy of a place in the House of Lords. Uh, she... She was a whinger, and she would rather whinge than do her job. Her job was to represent her constituency as an MP. Her job as a minister was to promote the arts and to promote culture. She did nothing. Uh, her job was to answer the mail. She didn't. But she set a tone, and she inherited a tone from Oliver Dowden. It's not entirely her fault that she was... Um, incapable of doing her job. It's not entirely her fault that she um, thought that she was grander than anybody else, that she thought that she deserved a place in the House of Lords. This was the tone that was set by others, and she simply took that as a fact. She was wrong. She behaved badly, uh, and Lucy Forsyth and Michelle Donnellan have been as incompetent as she, and indeed Oliver Dowden. There's a problem which, is, which, which has emerged again today. I hope to be addressing it next week, or, or, or in a week's time in Leeds. I'm going to be a guest of um, uh, people from the university in Leeds, and we're going to talk about reality TV, but more particularly about cheap television and the power of production. And that is what is out of control. Now, in 2019, there was a committee assembled by the DCMS to look into precisely this issue. All they did was hear information from production. And they have toaded to production and then not continued the investigation. This is abhorrent. And Nadine Dorris was part of that uh, move to ignore, to ignore people who, who, who had experienced this um, abuse of power at first hand and they didn't take testimony from those people. They took testimony from four um, performers on Love Island and uh, the Jeremy Kyle show, two from both. That's not enough. That's not a comprehensive and unbiased investigation. That's an utterly, an utterly queered um, cover-up. And... Today, we can see with the Philip Schofield issue, again, we can see the same television channel, ITV, again has a problem with power out of control by the production uh, people, by producers, who hid the problems of Philip Schofield until it became too big. And now, in order to save their own skin, they're piling on every possible fault onto Philip Schofield. Well, the fault... 
Philip Schofield was no angel. I'm sure we'll come to hear far more about that. Um, but he wasn't the primary problem. The primary problem was the desperation of production to uh, keep its programmes on the, on, on, the, um, on the air. Come what may, it doesn't matter who is hurt. And that's the mentality which is wrong. And it's about lots of producers getting rich at the expense of um, the performers. Yes, OK, Philip Schofield got rich too. But who else? Not very many other people in this morning. Um, you know, people were wheeled on there and were not paid. They're supposed to be grateful that they were there. In the same way as people are wheeled into reality TV shows and are supposed to be grateful... Uh, or, 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 or ask constantly, did you have fun? No, if you're on a TV show, whether it's a reality TV show, um, a sofa sleaze show, or a television drama, and you are on screen night after night for a month, you are working. And you should be given at least minimum wage. Instead, you're given a smile and asked if you're happy. And then told that uh, you, can, uh, you, you can access a psychiatrist when you want it isn't accessible. And, oh, I'm sorry, that's all you get. Oh, I'm sorry. But did you, did you have fun? I don't agree with this way of um, behaving. And I don't, put, I don't lay the finger of blame specifically on individual producers, an individual studio, even a television company or a television channel. I lay the finger of blame on the DCMS and the person in charge of that, that's the Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Arts, well, however that's divided and whatever you do with that acronym, the government is responsible and the government uh, prefers to play stupid games and tell Julia Lopez to keep writing letters and saying, consult Ofcom. And when you consult Ofcom, Ofcom says, well, actually, this isn't my remit. And I'm not the only person to be in this position. I'm not the only person to be in this position at all, as we heard last week from Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson was there as well. She contacted Ofcom and said, oh, it's not my business, sorry, can't do anything. This is all about the government wiping its hands of its responsibility, and it needs to be made to take responsibility and to ensure that people who are entertaining us are not treated like filth. Because... If it's happened in the past, it will happen in the future. This is a government, and Nadine Dorries was at the helm of this particular issue, and she did nothing. And now she whinges that she's being bullied. She doesn't know what she's talking about.